Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. I know it's been a while, but <laughs> I'm back. What a perfect time to be back, huh? Especially with Dual Masters. Well, as you see, it's gonna be something really quick. Well, actually, not really quick. I'm um, not only gonna show you the deck, but I'm gonna see if, if I can go ahead and show you some some replays really fast um, so you can see. But I'm gonna tell you pretty much the logic behind it. Obviously, since we're playing Dual Masters, this is necessary. I mean, obviously. In the TCG, we don't have this, so it's not something that I would recommend if, you know, if you're playing in the, in the TCG. This is pretty much just for Dual Masters purposes, you know. So, one, we have three Maxi, probably like <laughs> the best card, the most annoying card. I play Ash because it's generic, um, and not only it sells Maxi, but because I play Maxi, if I go into Ash, there's an interruption. And then the good thing with Ash is that since you're playing Alistair, um, you know, it synergizes really good with, you know, with your Ash event. So yeah, so three Maxi, three Ash, and then three Artifact Lancia. Now, the reason I play three Artifact Lancia is pretty simple. It kind of fucks me up too because I'm playing Eldritch. But one, it's really good against a lot of decks, especially um, Tri Brigade. It stops Tri Brigade. It stops the it stops the mirror match, so it stops you know the invoke match. It stops um, the outlet match. It stops zombies um, matchup. It stops a lot of um, like matchup that normally are kind of hard. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, artifact is is really good, and you know, like I said. It also synergizes with the extra deck because you know it's it's light, so you could bring out Makaba and Alistair. And, you know, it's it's pretty much free. I'm playing a small Dogmatica package, as you see. I'm playing one um, Ecclesia, one um, Knight, and then or oh, the Sat, but <laughs> and then and the one that the I'm doing that just because I didn't know what else to put on the deck, and it's not bad because. Um, you know, a cliche, and then you know, it's it's just uh, a free body, and then it gives you a, an extra negate. Or if you don't want that, then you can go and get the punishment. So it's not bad. Two lord. Um, a lot of people play three, not in this build, but in pure build because called by the grave is at two. You have you know DD Pro, bunch of stuff. Um, but I play two because it's bricky, and then you know, I always play two no matter what. Um, if it gets called by, then you know, I fucking lose, but I, I, I like playing two. Harpies for the duster. Um, one, I play because it's really good against the mirror match, it doesn't matter what mirror match, it could be the invoke mirror match, it could be the, the you know, the Manica mirror match, it could be the outlish mirror match this is pretty much a win button for me um terraforming obviously i play terraforming because it just turbos out you know um meltdown and then meltdown gives me alistair so it, you know it it's it, it's an easier way it's ash bait um some people might not ash it but you know, um, sometimes uh, this is the only thing I have in my head, and if you don't ash this and I get to the meltdown, then I'm pretty much like set. And then, you know, the, the best thing it, it ends out the deck. Um, I played two invocation, I was playing one. One is not bad. Um, I just feel like two is correct because sometimes it's it's bricky when, when you draw it, but once you draw this and Alistair or you draw invocation. A meltdown oh that's the best because yeah you might you might ask my in, in like Alistair but I already have meltdown so you know like thank you for wasting like your hand trap but yeah two two could be bricky but I think it's, it's good it just depends on luck bro like what I'm gonna say so this is basic one awakening just to turbo out Eldritch um, the golden lord plus the three you know sanguine I think that's pretty good because you have four ways actually you have a lot of ways to get um Elish into the field you have you know awakening plus your 
Sanguine is four, and then if you search this up, and then you you know discard Eldritch or whatever, you know you have a lot of ways. But to turbo him out, this is good because if you know first turn you go ahead to ash you, most likely next turn they don't have an ash, and if they do, they didn't open that good because they they open a lot of hand traps. So you know it's it's to make the, the play easier. Um, I only play two Ellen because it's fucking semi limited. So sadly, same thing with uh, meltdown. I play two meltdown because it's semi limited. Triple tactic. Um, I really want to play it. Uh, I've been feeling like taking it out, but it's good against those decks that uh, that overcommit. And pretty much once you take like part like the board apart, you win. It's also good against um those fucking gritty ass people that play three max c like me so if, <laughs> um it's really good because yeah you, i don't really need to special summon that much so if you max see me I, I might not do anything else draw two cars set everything and then you know fuck you like you just waste the max you know um super poly because why not the fuck super poly is like one of the best cards in the game not only it, it fucks you up, um, like your whole combo, but super good with Alistair. I can make almost anything. I can make invoke uh, this motherfucker Ray, Ray Jin with fucking the bird matchup. Just destroy them. Destroy them. This is pretty much for game for the trio. Um, this is amazing. Um, what else? Invoke Makaba, the, the best uh, fucking easiest shit to bring out. So yeah, I mean, I don't play too many Invoke stuff, but it's it's really good. The ratio that I have, Call by the Grave, I only play one. I wish I could play the second one, but I don't want to break. And right now, like that is 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 enough. Forbidden Droplet. So I, you know, right now this game doesn't have um a way for you to. To go ahead and inside, so I'm just meaning droplet, meaning tac uh, you know triple tactic, feather duster. I'm meaning a lot of things I wouldn't mean because you know it could be Briggy going first, but I have to because if I go second and I don't see these cards, sometimes I out of lose, especially that I play so much fucking like traps. So like meaning these are really good. It, it, it helps you. Now going first, it kind of it kind of is a brick, but it is what it is, you know. This is like pretty much the best of both worlds. You, you're good going first and you're good going second. It's kind of in, in in the middle. Um, I might change up the deck if if they if they switch. You know, instead of best of one, best of uh, three, whatever. So I might either like side something out and then put something else. And then if the meta changes, obviously I have to like update the deck because this deck right now is really good. I really like it and I really enjoy it and I recommend it for people to play. But if the meta changes and bird is not like predominant or LH is not predominant or like right now, what else? Yeah, pretty much those are like the best decks right now. Then I will switch up the plays. You know, you can't play this deck with like with the same hand traps or the same cards if the meta switches because I'm playing not only um, to stop the meta but because it's good then I will have to go ahead and you know put all this stuff that are good together but also stop the meta this is pretty much one on one deck building the extra deck um, I play two enters I don't play that, that many because you know I only have two dogmatic and predator and sometimes I don't even go for enters um, I go for this guy which is amazing because this baits a lot of things in my turn for example um i use this i stop a play and i don't really feel like i should pop something else why the fuck would i go and use antis i go ahead send a um, fossil dig i mean fossil warrior whatever pop you know stop that play and in my turn if you still were like able to do some type of play then i just use this Fortune negate, force whatever you want, and then guess what? If I have triple tactic, you're fucked. If I have drop it, you're fucked. So this is really good to bait a lot of things. And then you know the invoke stuff because it's like pretty much basic stuff. Uh, like you know this is good even without the bird matchup because it's, it's really good for a lot of stuff. Perfect trio, OTK, 
this one helps you like in the late game where like the, the fucking opponent has a big ass monster that you can't get over but you can at least pop it and it's really good this is just pretty much a staple in this and then this deck um, this I don't make that much but it's good um, I wish I had an extra spot for zoos and I will play zoos but I don't know what to take out sometimes link spider even though I don't use it that much it's better to have the zoos because I play five you know the well not really vanillas but these are vanillas in the, in the field so I need to get them ri like rid of them so link spider why not and then this guy, every time I bring him out, oh man, most of the time I win because who the hell is gonna get rid of a 45 V stick that cannot be destroyed by a opponent card effect? And because I always use Eldritch or Makaba or anything, you know, any any high level, um, you know, material you can't target. So who the hell is gonna get rid of this? This is a free win against Sky Strikers, pretty much, because they have a bunch of cards that target. Yes. Some of them doesn't target, but still can can be destroyed by by um, by car effect. So how the hell are you gonna get rid of this? Maybe if, if you bring out um, like Axis Cold Top or whatever, but most likely you're not. So that's good. Um, yes, it's not that complicated. But I'm gonna head um, and show you. Well, I have more decks. Yeah, I have a Sky Striker, a Zombie deck, but that's for the future. Um, I'm gonna go ahead really quick and, and show you some gameplay and then you know we'll go about it replays you know what let's not let's not do replays let's do it from duels because on the replays I have a bunch of stuff that I not only um, that deck I also have other decks there so. match history you know, and I'll show you everything. All my wins and losses. You know. I I win a lot, but I lose sometimes too. Um, and sometimes like Zeno, like, I have like four or five wins. I lost two wins. I lost a few wins. I lost twice. Well, this one shouldn't be shouldn't be a loss. Um, and I'm gonna show you that really quick after. Um, I was watching Kylie's Effect video, and by mistake I quit but you'll see that I was not supposed to lose that but well whatever you see a bunch of wins so like I, I win mostly then I lose um, and as you see I'm I'm flat one so let me show you these like you see two turns um, rounds which are really fast flat one obviously I think I went second here. Oh, no, I went first. I went first. So let's skip a little bit. So obviously you know what it does. It does this, gives you invocation, then you went off. And then invocation, boom. Oh, I do remember this. I'm playing against the most annoying deck. Really fucking hit that deck. Well, let me not put it that fast because actually, no. let me put it fast. GG, get this story. Boom. 
GG. Three rounds. Um, okay. This one, I don't remember. I should even see this one. Really fast. Okay, so I, the reason I did this is because either he passed with a bunch of set or he goes into link 1 and then he gives me a free draw. That deck doesn't stretch or something that much so that's why I, I start on uh, Maxi because might as well, you know. And then if I stop him round 1 then most likely I can, you know, woo, strong. Okay, that's fine. I knew he was gonna do that, that's why I did that. So, okay. That's fine. I have not special summon, but now I will. Wait, I did it? Oh, I did. Yeah. I should have because, you know, I gave him an extra card, but fuck it. So, go ahead, attack. And he probably, like, did two tries. No matter what, he was the one to do. I think it's great. Did he give up? I, I forgot this is Did he give up? Yeah, he probably did trash when he gave up. Yeah, he gave up. He, he had nothing. That, that deck is, is not bad, but it breaks so much. Next. Um, two. I don't know. I remember this one. Oh, these are really good, but uh, I don't want to show you that because it takes too long. See something really fast. Uh, let me see this one. This might be the last one because I don't, don't want to like drag this too much. I think I went for no, didn't have it. Okay. Okay. Huh. <laughs> that that doesn't really do that much. It it's it's annoying but it doesn't it doesn't affect me that much. Now that's annoying. You think that's gonna affect me? Bro, it's not. He probably noticed that, you see? You see, he noticed that that does not do anything. That's why he took it out. I'm like, bro, like, keep it there. And he gave up. I was gonna battle stack. He probably has some bullshit, like either like another skill drain set or anything else. So, yeah, it's, it's G.